The September 2019 quarter was a bummer for the infra companies. Courtesy, weak order inflows, extended monsoons and slower project execution. On an aggregate basis, sales of 23 listed players grew by 9% year on year. Let's do a three-point analysis on what investors can look forward to in this sector. Number one, near-term outlook. Growth is likely to pick up on the back of improved execution post-monsoon, tax rate reduction and funding support by the government. The pace of road construction activities is particularly one to watch out for. Revenue accruals are also slated to remain intact since the sector as a whole has order book value 2.5 to 3 times the annual top line. Number 2. Challenges Domestic CAPEX cycle revival will take a while to gain momentum. Leverage balance sheets and increasing interest rate could derail project timelines and lengthen the working capital cycle. Number 3. Valuation Infrastock as a basket are currently trading at 13 times their trailing earnings and are valued at 6 times on an EV to their trailing EBITDA basis. This is fairly undemanding vis-a-vis -vis the multiple scenes in the past. This, coupled with long-term optimism, provides a glimmer of hope. So in conclusion, which stocks can one look at? Money Control Research recommend investors to watch out for J. Kumar Infra, HG Infra, KNR Construction, PNC Infra, Aluwalia Contracts, Aircon and Rights as these are better positioned to outperform the rest. <laughs>